Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's get started. I have thought a lot in the last 24 hours. I want a boom, you know. Time to get your weekly sports fix. By the skin of their teeth, they lost. You know, then you can just ride it the whole thing. With sticks. Hey, you missed a whole lot of good shit if you just now starting to get your I know. What's happening, big homie? Homie and Sticks here hanging out on a Saturday evening. Man, this Saturday stuff is... It's too much going on in the week, even for my unemployed ass. Oh, well, I just started to recognize that apparently you're you're starting to be active out here, going places and shit. You're not a fixture for the moment, so nah. it's trying to catch up with you. And I'm like, okay, this has not been a thing. No, you know I, I mean? had to go. I had to go meet up with the uh, producer Chris Donovan and uh, hang out in the in the mountains in the 25 degree weather and snow and rain it's and slush and ice and wind and every all the conditions under the sun that we just got you know down here in the lower lands the same time probably damn snow coming soon yeah, uh but it was that. good it was a good time a little bonfire a couple of cold ones not too many for me though i'm a responsible adult these days uh oh, yeah. but yeah man it froze my balls off but it was straight mm-hmm. it was cool gotta hang out then uh just went to lunch with uh chris and the wife and uh and Corey, so got back figured That's we'd have sure. to get some uh stuff popping off today and get this rolling for all the peeps out there yeah it's called the shit man i mean yeah. it is it went from and i was just saying last night i thought there was going to be some time in between using ac and then using heat of yeah. just dealing with natural elements keep a window open close the window yeah i mean keep it cracked right no, no i just which... went from ac to heat like yep. this straight up and i just had the window right here cracked while i was chilling up here tightening up and uh I'm, my finger still ain't none yet and i'm telling you this shit wasn't but even an inch open yeah it, it's wild as shit up here so it, it, uh, my daughter said that it's going to be supposedly iphone is saying wednesday or thursday it's supposed to be popping you're supposed to wake up either one of them days to winter wonderland around oh and you know you get you get the winter wonderland down there before anybody else gets it so you know Mm -hmm. remember when i lived in bellevue like you'd be like yeah we got two feet of snow even when i went down there for super bowl that years ago dude i left your house there's like two feet of snow i let i got home in bellevue there was zero yeah we got 20 24 miles away people sleep on the good uh you know the good high top elevation of federal way you know what I mean? well, that, <laughs> we're elevated yeah. i guess so and that and that fucking that wind last night was gnarly bro it's crazy bro were y'all outside outside oh like, up in the mountains we were yeah like outside by the fire chilling but then we slept in the rvs or whatever the camper so but we we were out there and, for and, and you guys did this for or the reason for being fun is that, is that, uh, that the they, whole... they did chris chris and his family been up there for four days man four days and tuesday wednesday thursday three nights four days three and the, nights and the result of all of this sleeping in the wilderness is supposed to be fun well it's it's refreshing it clears your mind you're away from everything no no Do you know uh, what else does that a damn shower yeah well which not ain't really. none over there which ain't none out there you don't get uh you don't get the the um the the cutoff 
you know, Chris always working, doing his podcast thing, always doing that, but he True. has no connection Hardest with any of that shit up there, man. No, no connection up there with all that shit. Just the <clears> fucking <throat> wilderness and coyotes this dude, and this dude was going crazy. Wolves and bears and all those other fun elements up there. I didn't see anything. Goodness, I'd never be out there again. This uh, dude, he's up on the top of a tree trying to get a signal. Yeah. And so he can get the sports fix with sticks out to the people out here. <laughs> That's right. So we're pulling it off. But uh, yeah, man, that wind was gnarly here just last night. Uh, house seems to be intact. You don't have to cut any trees down or go get some lumber for the old fireplace or what, homie? Oh, well, I mean, fireplace activities are sure going to be happening oh, with all the damn work I did redoing my fireplace. So it, it's going, the first fire has not happened yet. It is about to, because uh, I got to see if my work is shoddy or it is uh, <laughs> a, a, a somewhat professional, at, at least don't burn my house down. So yeah, I guess I'm going to find that. Uh, We're we going to get into that. But, you know, anytime that this little shit pops through here and we get 45 mile per hour gusts and shit like that. Uh, I got big trees in the neighborhood and, you know, whatever they call this damn shit, gazebos and pergolas and all this shit. I, I, hey, that shit gets on my nerves, man. When this wind starts blowing like that, you know, I don't want to just go outside and all of a sudden now I'm calling insurance because a tree is in my kitchen. Right. That's crazy. And I'm not surprised that we haven't seen, I haven't seen any stories on that yet or heard, but. Yeah, man, that thing was blowing, pulling up tree trunks and all that nonsense. So we'll yeah, see. It's, it's wild, man. So you didn't, so you weren't connected. You didn't, you had no idea what was going on. And how long were you up there in terms of missing live activity, earthly events? Yeah, uh, we left, I left in the middle of the Astros Phillies game on a Thursday night. So I didn't even get a score until, I don't know, halfway through mm. Friday on the way home. So wow. Yeah. And then I, I tried to text, I tried to text you as soon as we came down, I think it was like a little after 12. I don't know if it ever even went through, uh, till later or whatnot, but, um, yeah, I missed out on that. I didn't see the Thursday night football game at all. Um, saw the scores on Friday. So, you yeah. know, didn't get to see no cracking, um, cracking plays or cracking at all either. So, yeah, um, well, I mean, I was just going to say, you didn't really miss anything. NFL went to script um they didn't even they tried to make it look interesting by giving you know the texans a, a, a five point a seven point jump start you know kind of situation and we'll get into that but it went toward the script that thing and then the world series we don't have to we don't have to get into what's going on there but you again the cracking we can't sleep on this i want to make sure that on every episode i crowbar the shit out of some space to get cracking up in here if it's cold open, if, if they can't deserve a whole, if the NHL ain't big enough to get a whole segment popping around here, I got a crowbar to cracking in at some point. So everybody knows what it is. Um, but before I do that, I got to say, so the last two days, you, one of the things you missed, this is where I was going, was the NHL, you know, they're always up to some shenanigans. They're always trying to do good promotion. They're trying hard, right? So they're doing the same kind of thing that the NFL did with the Jaguars. So they're doing their global series. So they had yesterday, they took uh, Colorado, which is the most Finlandish, Swedishness, uh, Norwegianist team in the United States. And they sent them over there to play in Finland versus the uh, CBJs. So they, the Blue Jacks is over there with them. And uh, man, Nico Markin went crazy. He came back home and went crazy, bro. Crazy. Yeah, I'm saying for the for the uh, Avalanche, man, three three goals. Uh, I'm just balling out, man. But I do have a thing, yeah. As with anything, the NHL was on to something by going over there doing the Jacksonville Jaguars thing. Yeah, I mean they got so many you know foreign players and stuff out there, right? right. Especially with that, so they, they should do that. You know what they should have did? They should have did it outside. Global Series in Finland, outside. Just like they did a Tahoe yeah. and uh, they New missed York. the opportunity, and... bro. They, they missed a big one, man. I mean, they've over there. They've gone over there for years, right? Or is this the first time they've done it? I haven't noticed like a major thing. Now it says global series, so the assumption is that they've done this before. Yeah, you know what I mean. Unless this is number one, but I haven't noticed a big thing about it. 
So, and when I went to go click on it, it's on NHL network, which, you know, everybody got to go search and rescue for that damn thing. So you go find it and I go look and it's in the arena. And then I'm going, oh, it's not even really special, bro. Well, yeah, I mean, they're just they don't there. get it over there. It's just like, I mean, you know, you get the football going over there. Of course, there's outdoor stadiums or whatever, like a right. regular stadium, but it's hockey. They, they watch hockey, you know, inside and right that's where they're going to get their fans anyways. But I mean, yeah, you're, Finland, you're, right? I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're, I'm not saying you're wrong, but uh, I mean, they're going to sell that place out either way. And oh, yeah. if you can get, if you can get more people outside to an outside environment and get more butts in the stands, why would you not do that? And well, I, I mean, mean you're going to get, it. you're going to get families out there either way. We just were talking about what the weather's like here. We ain't talking about Finland outside cold weather. So I don't even know what that is. So maybe yeah. they're they know something that we don't know. Yeah, maybe we let's bring this in the house. Check it. Check in the check on the weather report first to see <laughs> what we're talking before, before we before we go know. into it before we lay into them a little bit too much. Yeah. you know maybe just give them the benefit of the doubt. It's twenty seven below. I don't think you want to be playing hockey outside in twenty seven below. Yeah, they've been doing just this, but opinion. I mean the the the, the cracking again. I mean, mm-hmm. hey, winning record. We'll we'll take it all day long. Middle of the pack. We'll take it we got to stay out here stay fighting stay aggressive doing what we're supposed to do uh we're starting to find out that our team has not identified itself to us in any way in terms of this is the identity of a team yet we haven't figured out whether they're a straight over team because they're straight up 50 50 there we ain't figured out whether they're the over one p team or the under one p team it's just 50 50 there yeah well the over one um, p is kind of shysty because it's either one and a half or two Right. You know, can't get a, can't get really get a read on that one that they right. change it so fast. Usually it takes half a season.